There are several factors contributing to the fast growth of the P2P lending market. Short for peer-to-peer, -peer, P2P lending enables individuals to borrow money from other individuals. Thus, there is no financial institution involved as the intermediary. This means that the borrower and the lender don't need to pay hefty service fees for borrowing and lending money, respectively. Owing to the popularity enjoyed by the P2P lending market, there has been a surge in peer-to-peer -peer lending apps. Avant, Fairsent, Kiva, Mintos, Peerform, and Prosper Marketplace are some of the leading P2P loan lending apps. If you're also looking to develop a P2P lending app, then you need to watch this video until the end, as we are here to discuss how much it will cost to develop a P2P lending app in 2023. But before we proceed with discussing the amount of money that you need to invest to bring a P2P lending app project to reality, let's see some fascinating stats about this rapidly growing market niche. The P2P lending market was valued at $83.8 billion in 2021. It is expected to grow at an explosive CAGR of 26.7% from 2022 to 2030 to reach $705 billion. Consumer lending is the largest segment that accounts for 80% of the entire P2P lending market size. Before we know how much it costs to develop a P2P lending app, you should know that the actual cost of developing a P2P money lending app depends on several factors, four most important among which are Number 1. The complexity of the app. Number 2. Required features and functionalities. Number 3. The development platform. Number 4. The location of the development team. Now, let's understand each of these factors and their impact on the overall cost of the P2P lending application. The complexity of a mobile app plays an important role in determining its cost. That's because the more complex the app, the more time and effort are required for developing it. Complex features that can increase the development cost of the app include Borrower and lender matching algorithms Credit scoring systems Secure payment gateways Adding specific features and functionalities to the app also imposes a significant effect on the cost of the app. Features like user registration, loan application submission, and repayment options are standard. Integrating advanced features, like an analytics dashboard, chat support, document verification, and integration with third-party APIs adds to the overall development cost of the P2P lending app. Another major factor that contributes to the overall cost of a P2P loan lending application is the choice of the development platform. You can choose between native app development and cross-platform app development. Native app development lets you develop different versions of the same app for Android and iOS, while cross-platform app development facilitates the development of a single codebase that can operate on multiple platforms. Usually, native app development is the costlier option, as different endeavors are required to develop the app for separate platforms. The next factor we have is the location of the development team. Different regions have different app development rates. This means that the same app with the same features, functionalities, and complexity costs differently in separate locations. Development rates in North America and Western Europe, for instance, are more than compared to development rates in Asia, Eastern Europe, and South America. Rather than focusing only on the cost, the expertise and quality of the development team should also be factored in. These were the four major factors that determine the overall cost of a P2P lending app. There are other factors that also impact the cost of developing a P2P loan application. These are App design and UI UX development Back-end infrastructure and server costs Maintenance and support services Marketing and promotion Security measures Testing and quality assurance before starting with the development of a P2P lending app, it's necessary to calculate the overall cost of development. Moreover, it is important to have a clear understanding of your requirements, prioritize features on the basis of your targeted audience, work closely with the development team for effective cost management. You should also allocate a dedicated budget for the ongoing maintenance of the app, in addition to getting regular updates and ensuring that the app is highly secure and functional. Now, let's answer the main question, which is how much it costs to develop a P2P lending app. The simple answer is that it varies depending on the factors mentioned above. Therefore, to avoid the scenario of over-budgeting, it's essential to consider the complexity, desired features, and development platform of the app, along with the location of the development team. 
You can ask for an accurate budget for your P2P lending app project by commenting below or connecting with us. You can find the contact details in the video description below. Thanks for watching.